Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do lesson 6.4 of Algebra 1 Math. Uh, this will be part 1, you want part 2, part 3, you know where to email me. 6.4, part 1, here is the standard. Solving linear systems by multiplying first. We have a 34 point skill sheet here with this one and we have no notes here to take. So it's all going to be handed in today. And teachers, here is your uh, bell work today. We have a gnarly little word problem here. Give your students about five, six minutes to solve this, explain. So we have an explanation uh, problem here to write. So students add a, an answer sheet to here. You probably will not have enough room, so add an answer sheet. Okay, welcome back. We're going to provide the solution here to our uh, bell work. Here is your solution. Cost of cap and, cap and gown set. Cost of an extra tassel. So we, here is our setup here for our fees. And then we go through, we combine our two. We got 221x with 72y, then 215. And then we combine uh, these two here, we end up with negative 6x equals negative 84, and then we solve for x, and then we stick that back in to the original. So cap and gown set costs 14, extra tassel costs 350, so 218 cap and gowns will cost 3052, and 56 extra tassels will cost this amount here. The total the third school will spend is this amount here. So that would be a complete solution there, students. I mean, this is what is expected of you to produce for a word problem like this. Copy this down if you don't have it. Okay, solving linear systems by multiplying first. You solve linear system by adding subtracting. You will solve by multiplying first. We're gonna get into multiplying to solve systems of equations. In a linear system like the one below, neither variable can be limited by adding or subtracting. For a system like this, you can multiply one or both equations by a constant. So adding or subtracting the equations will eliminate one variable. So we can multiply this to get this. And then this way we can combine these two to eliminate the y variable. So we multiply this by two to make this four. This is already a negative 4y, so then we just combine those. New system is equivalent to the original. It's just We just multiply it by 2. It's not in simplest forms like, like this was here. Okay, example 1, we'll apply one equation and then add to solve the uh, system. We have these two systems here. Multiply equation 2 by negative 3. So we're going to multiply this by negative 3, then we co combine those, yes? So that's what we do. We're going to multiply that by negative 3 now. So now we can combine our x's to those that go away. And then we have this, negative 4y equals 4. We went from here to here to get this here. Now we can solve for y, which is y equals negative 1. Then we can plug that back in, can't we? 2x plus 3y. We plug in negative 1 here, and what do we get? We get 2x plus negative 3 equals 5, and then 2x equals 8, then x will equal 4. So now we got a solution is 4. Negative. Are we going to check this time? Mm, yeah, we're going to check. I think we're going to check. Here to check, this checks out when we substitute in, and then this checks out too. So those are the solutions. Okay, got to practice solve the linear system using elimination. We're going to do this one in class. Uh, students, this is yours on your own, so pay attention up here. Okay, solve linear system using elimination. So we're going to multiply this by 3 here. So we can combine these two to eliminate, it looks like our x variable. Yeah, those will go away, and then we have this. So what do we have here? We have 7y equals... 14, solve for y, y equals negative 2, you plug that back into the first, think of it 6x equals negative 3, once we get through with our 
math here, and then we go x equals negative one. We're going to check that. We're going to put that back into the first one here. That checks, and then the second one. So here's our x, and then here's our y. And then our second one here, uh, we plug that in, and yep, it checks out negative 5 equals negative 5. So, yep, there's our negative one half, negative two. So, those check. Well, so, there it is. So, that's part one, 6.4, part two, and part three. Email me here. Thank you.